A mural that was censored and hidden from sight for nearly three decades is back on display now at Union Station in downtown L.A. But CBS 2's Amy Johnson reports it may disappear again if supporters can't find a permanent home. It is a look back at L.A. through the eyes of artist Barbara Carrasco. I'm very excited to have it here. The mural titled L.A. History, a Mexican Perspective, spans decades of the city's richly diverse past. Everything in the mural is historically accurate, so it's not like a question of my interpretation or my slant on the history. It's, it is a history, so there, therefore I felt empowered to fight for it. The 51 scenes on the 80-foot-long mural were once censored by the same people that commissioned it for the city's bicentennial. The Community Redevelopment Agency, or CRA, which no longer exists, asked Carrasco to remove 14 of the panels. I waged a, like a public fight um, for the rights to, to um, keep my copyright, to keep the integrity of the mural intact. The mural was unveiled this morning at Union Station after nearly 30 years in storage. Today we get to reclaim history. We get to take back a piece of Los Angeles history that we lost and present it back to the public. If you don't remember your history, then you can't move forward. See, I'm up there, right there. See the comb? See my name? It says Grace. <laughs> That's me. The event brought out some of the people who helped paint it back in 1980. My heart is so happy right now. I just can't believe it. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? You, we learned history while we, while we were painting it. It is as bright and bold today as it was decades ago. This mural has survived attempts to erase the histories of people of color in Los Angeles, and it is still here today as a testament to those stories. But it is only here temporarily. I'm really hoping that we find a permanent home for this mural. I, I think it's a, a, a reflection of Los Angeles, a pretty honest reflection of Los Angeles. And while today is a celebration, the mural will be here for a month. There is still a need to find a permanent home to have it on display. At Union Station, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.